one. Uh, can I? Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a way to get out of this game. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I'll just make a thing. But this is called. Let me change our title. What is this one called? Lurks within walls. Lurks within walls. Okay. But it plays like a consumable painkiller. It plays like a Legend of Grimrock kind of thing where you move in your cardinal directions. This could be useful. Scalpel. Okay. Patient unidentified. Admission time four. First 12 hours. Fever, chills, muscle pain. 39 degrees Celsius. That'd be like, what, 104? Right? 104, 105? 102. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, lower than I was thinking. Muscle pain, antipyretic, IV saline solution. Anxious, confused, reluctant to cooperate. Samples collected for lab analysis. 12 to 24 hours. Aggressiveness, paranoia, persistent features. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's probably closer to the uh, four I was talking about. It's probably like three and a half. Um, sedative, antivirals failed to administer. By the way, if this is a thing, persistent fever, uh, and also if they take your blood and they find like things, they will call um, infectious diseases in for that kind of thing to make sure that you don't have something that can be passed on to people. Uh, irrational behavior, elevated heart rate, 110 BPM. That's just my resting heart rate. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, my resting heart rate is like 80 to 90 at times. It should be like 60. My heart rate is weird because I have a heart condition. Um, patient transferred to isolation ward, subcutaneous branching observed. Okay. Interesting. Okay. How do I put that away? There we go. Okay. So before we go through the door, let's check everywhere. The scale here. No. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can do much else. We do have a scalpel. Big old ball there. Laboratory analysis. Patient unidentified. Blood and tissue. Blood tissue and secretions. Branching something. High concentration on blood and tissue indicating system systemic invasion, proliferation, rapid growth, especially in dark environments, additional lighting required to contain expansion, critical condition, advanced proliferation, no response to treatments, abnormal behavior observed, total isolation to evaluate extreme containment measures. Okay. Nothing there. Ventilation is shut down. Air feels stagnant. Can't go through that door. Hey, okay, dark hallway. Dark hallway. Elevator power is too weak to operate. Need to find an alternative. I like this hallway a little bit better. I'm liking this hallway less. Improvised note. Night guard, I'm sorry for I, I'm sorry I never got your name. We have to evacuate the floor immediately before that barricade main access. Keep everything locked secure. Watch out for aggressive patients. Shoot if necessary. Oh, we got a handgun. I just heard gunfire. Okay, I guess we're going this 
by now. Stairs that way. That noise is locked. I need to find the exit. For these boxes, pistol seems to be loaded. Crowbar. Better take this with me. Door appears to be locked from the inside. here, but I'm guessing if we grit this box, something's going to attack us. Consumable med kit. Maybe not. Ah, this is the power. Power panel for the floor. Elevator turn, switch off. There it is. Hello there. Friend, you are foe, okay. What is it? Special. Tactics. Increase hit and evasion chances until the end of the next player's turn. Okay. Crowbar. is what this is called. Interesting. We get anything for that? Doesn't seem like it. Probably with the crowbar to take that stuff down. Okay, there's a splatter over there. Painkillers, okay. Emergency note. Power has been redirected to keep the sample room illuminated and prevent further spread. If the area is evacuated, guard shut off the ventilation, disable the elevator, and contain patients in isolated areas. The situation is critical. Exit key. Seems I can get the door open. Okay, this is going to be our shortcut. Um, there's definitely writing on that wall, right? Or something on that wall. I guess it's not writing, but... Plague spread, reaching beyond the limits of your flesh. <laughs> Claws emerge. What power do you claim? Max HP or hit chance? Definitely hit chance. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, hi there. Um. Nice. I can feel it, I can open it. I sense it's tall. Go through to the other side. Um, let's say no for now. Identified a mission date for symptoms, aggression, erratic behavior, black patches, and expanding subcutaneous branching, nails growing into claws. Okay, that's simple. That's what we did. Sedation attempt failed. Patient became violently resistant. Branching redacted, invading nervous system, total isolation. Uh, repeated murmurs. Well, I could swear the body levitated off the bed. Makes no sense. Lethal method considered due to severity of situation. Observation, terminal infection, urgent evacuation required. Shotgun, there are only a few shells. Oh, hi. Uh, handgun. Seem like you can click on them. It's like you can highlight them, but you can't actually click on them. Okay, so how do we restore us 10 HP? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a painkiller then. Okay. Claws evolve. Power expands. Ripper claws now. Now we could go to the other side. Makes a lot more sense now. Shells. Okay. Ripper claws. Body. I missed. Just in case there's some hidden thing in the demo here that we might be able to learn. Okay, it definitely wants us to just take the elevator.
13th floor. Oh, hi. We've released the ball. Creatures by Trevor Henderson. Game by Here Be Monsters. I've heard of that before. They've else they've done. Published by two wedges. Interesting. Oh, the gunshots we heard. Are we about to get a little bit of Sierra in position? Entered the building. The footsteps are loud. <laughs> yeah. Targets neutralized. No sign of survivors. Elevator spotted. Proceeding 13th floor. Out. I like this character's face here in the bottom left. Wish it was a little bit bigger. Don't think we're going to find anything here. I'm guessing they're going to open up the doors and the ball's going to come out. So I'm wondering if this is a hint that there's going to be like a class system or something. Because they have 30 HP, so I'm wondering if they're not either like a higher level. Because it seems like this could be a roguelike. Um, and maybe like each time you go through, you unlock more and more things. I don't know. I, I, I'm interested in this one. Yeah. Oh, it's faces now. Did you see that? It was like a, it was like faces like stuck to the wall. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check out that developer. That sounds familiar. Huh. Also different environments. Wishlist on Steam. Definitely did already. Uh, that Yeah, that one is going to be interesting. I like the idea of kind of a first-person dungeon crawler, but, like, horror-themed. Um, I, I like when they take something, that, that genre, like, that already exists, and find a way to make horror kind of fit within that, because I think it's, it's a really cool thing to do. So, um, it doesn't look like there's a way to get out of this, so that's it for the demo.